let me begin by uh, asking uh, both dr rastogi and mr mehrotra uh, their own take on the best way to find meaning in life uh, dr rastogi if you could uh, begin with some of your thoughts namaste everyone main yahan baat karne aayi hu तो मैंने रिक्वेस्ट किया आप अर्णा को कि जो सेकंड वीडियो है उसको बाद में दिखाएं क्योंकि मुझे बात करना है मैं आई इसलिए हूँ एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड्स हिंदी यस तो माय फर्स्ट टेक इज जो इन्होंने बोला कि आपका क्या सोच है अभी हमने सुना इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल मैसेज फ्रॉम हर ऑन वीडियो आई रियली रिस्पेक्ट दैट मैसेज तो उन्होंने ये कहा कि हम बॉडीज़ को यूज़ नहीं करते तो मैं भी फिर से यही कहूँ और सारी जगह पे यही नॉलेज है हम माइंड को ओवर यूज़ करते हैं तो हेयर एंड नाउ हम माइंड को ओवर यूज़ ना करके अगर हम अपनी थोड़ी बॉडी को यूज़ करें और थोड़े इमोशंस को यूज़ करें तो शायद ये सेशन आपके लिए ज़्यादा मीनिंगफुल हो मीनिंगफुल इन लाइफ मीनिंग इन लाइफ इज़ अ बिगर क्वेश्चन वॉट यू आर गेटिंग मीनिंग इन दिस सेशन दैट हैज़ टू बी एब्जॉर्ब इन एवरी सेल ऑफ द बॉडी इन योर हार्ट in your mind in your body nahi to it is too much bombardment of the knowledge meaning in life google pe type karo itna sara aayega to may i start with a small task if uh, mr mehrotra you permit it will just take 5 minutes thank you thank you so close your eyes keep this uh, mujhe workshop ke liye bulana chahiye tha yahan aake maine dekha waise anyway मैं कन्वर्ट कर ही लूँगी क्योंकि मैं इतना बम्बार्डमेंट ऑफ थाट्स में अभी यकीन नहीं कर रही हूँ आई एम एम एस सी मैथमेटिक्स पी एच डी एजुकेशन बट हो गया बहुत तो यस प्लीज क्लोज योर आईज जेंटली क्लोज योर आईज फील योर सेल्फ एज अ बर्ड आप एक पक्षी हैं योर बर्ड और आप रात को सो गए हैं You are a bird sleeping. Take a deep breath. Relax your bodies. Again feel you are a bird sleeping. Now the morning has come. do the first task sitting or standing or speaking use your body use your voice use the first task what the bird do yes be light and experimental do the morning has come and the bird woh jag gaya hai kare chi 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 open your eyes jag gaye ho to open your eyes kisi ne bhi nahi kiya चलो कोई बात नहीं ऐसा समझा होगा कि अभी मैं एक्सरसाइज के बीच में हूँ तो कैसे होता है अभी आँख खोलें ची 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 ठीक ऐसा होता है ना यस क्लोज योर आईज अगेन यू आर योर सेल्फ और रात को सो गए हैं आप जो हैं वो हैं खुद को इमेजिन करें आप रात को सो गए हैं सुबह हुई है आप उठे हैं आंख खोलें और प्लीज रेज योर हैंड्स आप बताएं फर्स्ट एक्शन क्या होता है फर्स्ट एक्शन मोबाइल मोबाइल में क्या किसका मैसेज आया क्या नहीं सो so, अगर सारा लाइफ के मैसेजेस मोबाइल में आएंगे तो हमें मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ के लिए बहुत बड़े बड़े सेमिनार्स करने पड़ेंगे तो द फर्स्ट मैसेज इज यूज योर बॉडी यूज योर बॉडी एंड यूज योर वॉइस ऐसा ऐसा कुछ ये डांस मैंने देखा भी डांस थेरेपी का वर्कशॉप था रियली वर्कशॉप था या सुनना ही था वर्कशॉप था कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन हाँ तो यस तो फर्स्ट मैसेज इज यूज द बॉडी फिर मैं बाकी बात बाद में करूँगी थैंक यू thank you thank you dr rastogi um, so i uh, have heard 
uh, Mr. Mehrotra constantly say that you know what makes our heritage uh, our heritage uh, so valuable uh, is that it's a great mix of uh, both uh, wisdom and method. She's throwing it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we just got an example of our uh, of method. <laughs> uh, and and while well, I know that uh, Mr. Mehrotra is great with method as well, uh, having been a personal student of His <coughs> Holiness for many, many years. Uh, but uh, Mr. Mehrotra, if you can sort of start with um, speaking about, you know, what you have learned, your thoughts on, uh, you know, that big conundrum that I think all of us face at some point in our lives. You know, what is the meaning of life? You know, why, why are we alive? Why do we come? What is the larger purpose? Is there a larger purpose? Is there meaning? That's the other question. Is there meaning at all or is it completely meaningless? Uh, I have to say that this has got me sort of twisted a bit in, in, in a round and round uh, the mind, not cluttered by knowledge, but purely intuitively that uh, we often use, and Aparna knows that I have often argued, that we use words and we haven't really reflected on what we mean by it. And obviously what each one of us means by it will be different. And that includes the idea of a meaningful life. And I think that the question of whether we are leading a meaningful life comes up when obviously we experience some level of dissatisfaction with our lives. So as I again I've argued that when you're really happy, uh, the question of happiness or what is happiness doesn't come up. And when it does come up, you stop being happy. So I think we first need to uh, you know, recognize that this very aspiration is very ineffable, uh, you know, which means that you know, difficult to pin down and what do we mean by a meaningful life? And what brings me meaning may not bring you meaning. And we all aspire to a meaningful life because we have somewhat been conditioned to have particular expectations of life. So I think that's where the problem starts. And, uh, and we can look at this aspect of meaning in so many different uh, layers. I mean, for example, uh, can we exchange meaning with life? What is the purpose of life, which is diff slightly a different shade of meaning to the meaning of life, uh, to what is the value of life. I mean, there are so many synonyms that will go with the very idea of a meaningful life. And so we are under sort of social pressure to live a meaningful life. Uh, I have was, I mean, it's been a long time since I read, you know, the famous novelist uh, Tolstoy. And here was a man who was writing these great masterpieces and being, you know, sort of celebrated around the world and transforming people's lives. And suddenly he collapsed and he said, what is the meaning of my life? So I think the first thing we need to do, and I have no prescriptive solutions because I am an aspirant of life, I struggle, and I look at ways of re trying to reinvent myself. And sometimes I'm so overwhelmed with life or aspects of life that I find no meaning. And I was just talking to Aparna's wonderful father. And I was sharing with him that at some point when I thought I was doing very meaningful work, managing an NGO, supporting independent documentary films, I was suddenly grounded because uh, the computer and auditor general decided to come and investigate what I was doing. I mean, my work and my books and Aparna's witness to it too. And I was absolutely traumatized. And I suddenly wondered whether what I was doing really had meaning if I had to put up with all of this simultaneously. So I just share this to, uh, to be mindful of our civilization in particular, in which we are, uh, I think that a, 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 a state of contented, non-aspirational being is, uh, is, 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 is a very sought after, uh, ideal. So when the, um, when the sage sits in the mountains and meditates on his navel, he feels he's leading a meaningful life. As I suppose does the mafia fellow in Bombay who is driven by what he's doing, experiences life as a, his life as a meaningful one. 
Um, and then if we look at, you know, the idea of, say, evolutionary biology, where you forget all this vocabulary and you forget philosophy per se, so the evolutionary biology is, drives us as a species and all species to merely exist and keep evolving physiologically. But it is the imperative to exist and survive and keep living that uh, so drives us. I mean, I'm not talking about you know distorted emotional mental states where obviously uh, that that aspiration is compromised in, 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 in some significant ways. Now we find even that uh, in, in, in a major shift in what we experience or which communities experience as a meaningful life. They change. And they change not just for individuals. So today we find that the post-pandemic experience in the United States, whereas before the pandemic, about 1995, I was just reading this data yesterday because I thought, I mean, I should have something sensible to say because I hadn't thought about it <laughs> and before this. And I just struggled with my life. And some of it had meaning and some of it didn't. So I said, well, what is the world saying about this? So I went to a famous magazine called The Economist. And uh, they talked about how before the pandemic, more than 90% of people felt that their fulfillment was defined by their jobs and their ambition related to their jobs and the success in their jobs that then enabled them to deal with the physical aspects of their lives and bring them luxury and comfort. So even as we are bombarded with a lot of mental knowledge and stimuli, we are also obsessed with our physical selves. Can we beautify them? Can we live the perfectly healthy life, etc., etc., etc.? And they found post-pandemic that this number had fallen to below 50 percent. And suddenly, in the United States, people have stopped wanting to continue with the jobs they were doing because they found, whatever it means, <laughs> that there was no meaning in what they were doing. And so they're now looking for meaning. And it is, has to be, cannot be prescriptive. It has to be, in my view, uh, you know, somewhat experimental. That what will give person A meaning will not get person B meaning. So we can evolve our theories about meaning and not knowing what we really mean about it. And uh, then follow someone else's prescription for it. And so I will offer my prescription with great trepidation to say it's only my prescription. It is not the prescription. And, and this is something that I, I know I, I tire my friend uh, Aparna always with talking about everything being you know, relative. And very often what we need is something tangible and concrete to hand, you know, hang on to. Usne keh diya, humne kar diya, uska output ho gaya. Ab ye kariye to ye ho jayega. I wish that were true. Because if that were the case, I certainly have not found it. <laughs> so, uh, and, and we cannot abdicate responsibility for our own sense of fulfillment and the quest for meaning for any formula. People can present their different formulas and we ultimately have to take responsibility, become aware and assess them. And I'm just pointing a to a few, such as I gave you of evolutionary biology, so the natural impetus is for us to exist and that is enough for the species. And all species. And that is, that is the sort of the, the, the inherently physiological impulse embedded in all of us, whether it is procreation, whether it is survival. So that is meaning at one level. Then, of course, that as you turn to the different religious traditions and you have certainly, uh, you know, in, in religions where you have the, 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 you know, the idea of the divine. Uh, and so it means fulfilling the divine or the divine is fulfilling itself through us. And so we surrender to the divine and that will give us meaning. No, I mean, that's not invalid. It, it works for people and it makes a lot of people very virtuous. It gives them a framework of action, a framework of values, and something larger than themselves to whom or which or an idea that they can surrender to. And so that gives their lives uh, meaning. 
And then you come across, of course, into you know, sub, you know, area uh, um, philosophies uh, or practices such as Buddhism. And uh, in 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 Buddhism, of course, there is no divine, uh, but there is the notion of reality. And so we believe that you cannot find meaning unless you become aware of the true nature of reality. And even as I say that, as I said before, and I said yesterday, that there is no single nature of reality. Quantum physics tells us that where, where the, depending on the observer, reality is different. However, there are some sort of general principles of, uh, of what reality is. And if we don't recognize and accept that reality, the question of meaning will keep coming up. And so what is that nature of reality? The nature of reality is that we will go through elements of physical uh, suffering. We will go through efforts of mental conflict and aspiration. And how can we not be moved or impacted when someone else is uh, suffering? How can we not, as we grow older, uh, experience you know, problem with one's knees and with one's body? Because the body goes through its process. So an obsession either with the perfect body as, or as the reservoir of uh, our solutions may not be uh, entirely valid, yet we can turn a physical challenge into an opportunity that is fulfilling. Have you guys ever seen uh, films of uh, blind people playing cricket? My God, it's, I mean, it's so empowering and gives meaning to my life when I watch it. That with all those physical challenges, these guys are playing cricket. I mean, just look at the kind of ways in which people can transcend the body to find uh, meaning. So the, you know, the ways are, are completely, uh, I mean, they're, they're infinite. And not every blind person will find value from playing cricket. But the principle, uh, you know, is certainly uh, is, is valid. And so we say in our tradition that to be awakened to the true nature of reality and a balance between acceptance and volition. So His Holiness often tells us the story of a monk because the, the aspiration uh, in Tibetan Buddhism and Buddhism is of compassion and compassion to the infinite degree, really. So this, this monk was uh, in the Chinese gulag for 30 years, and he was released. And he came back very, you know, perky and full of beans. And when it, the Dalai Lama asked him, what was the most difficult part of your being in the gulag? He said, you know, when one day, for a brief moment, I lost my sense of compassion for the guy who was torturing me. So his meaning in life was in the confines of a Chinese gulag. He found meaning in trying to practice and exercise compassion. So, and I will you know, stop very soon before she presses the bell to say I've been talking for too long, <laughs> is that, you know, ultimately, in my sort of general sense of it, that uh, meaning, uh, whatever meaning is, I mean, I will treat it as an amorphous word. Inherent is that is some sense of values, something larger than ourselves. Again, as yesterday I spoke about softening of the self. So the minute we soften our self, that is worrying about meaning, we find the equanimity, the equilibrium, where a defined craving for meaning is as counterintuitive uh, as uh, being miserable, as, as a natural state of being. And so in, in Buddhism, we are not saying, not Buddhism in general, we are not uh, saying that desire is wrong, is that if desire is circumscribed by a value, and the most enduring value that helps us and makes a difference in the world is compassion. Now, if you have no other context in which to experience or manifest compassion, you do it to your jailer.
difficult indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. <laughs> Aspirational. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> what I'm hearing really from you is that life, in a sense, is about the management of expectation. Uh, because we're filled with so many expectations and uh, you know, if, if we can figure out, because life cannot be free of desire, uh, but if we can manage that desire and give it, I mean, in the Buddhist context, perhaps compassion and, you know, different contexts for different people, then perhaps, uh, you know, it, it, it becomes something in, which does not eat away at you and perhaps, you know, adds to you in, in some ways. Um, and of course, the softening of the self and what that does, uh, you know, so that, that self which is constantly looking for meaning, if the self disappears, then perhaps the self, uh, the mean, the search for meaning also disappears. And I'm, I'm reminded of your uh, Chidiya Wala experiment. Because when the Chidiya gets up in the morning, it's certainly not wondering what its meaning in life is. Yeah. You know, it's just, it just wakes up and it does chi 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 and just goes about life without, you know, thinking, Achha, am I happy with this? Why did this one say that to me? Yes. Et cetera, et cetera. So we can't be Chidiya because we are different. That was just to... Uh, Send a message to share a message, use your body. Yes. So, Chalo, Aparna challenges us ki how we are different from Chidya. So, hmm? Chidya, of course, uh, is not feeling, is not suffering that uh, unbearable lightness of being. Chidya is very small and uh, very light, but she is not suffering from unbearable lightness of being. But we are suffering because. We need some burdens, some heaviness, some weight on us to have that meaning. How can I be so light? Just dancing and chirping and enjoying the life like Chidiya. No, I'm a much greater evolved human being and I have to suffer this lightness or suffer with the burdens, with the problems. There should be some occupations. Yes. So nature and animal life just teaches us ki, uh, some life force in us really want to be used as physical life force. Hamara jo pura division hai, body, mind, heart and emotions, jo connections mein, agar hum sare segments mein apni energies ko devote nahi karenge, then we will be very much suffering from this uh, finding meaning of life. So this is the starting message. Abhi, uh, जैसे मैं अगर अपनी लाइफ के बारे में बताऊं तो थोड़ा सा आपको कन्विक्शन लगेगा कि आई एम अ डेली गर्ल डेली के स्कूल्स में मैं पढ़ी हूँ नाइन्थ क्लास में मुझे ये क्वेश्चन आते थे कि वॉट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ ये वो उस टाइम एक सर्वोत्तम डाइजेस्ट आती थी पत्रिका हिंदी की और ये सब uh, साहित्य माई बहुत पेरेंट्स आर पी एच डी इन हिंदी तो उसका सारा लिटरेचर पढ़ना प्रेमचंद ये वो फाइंडिंग मीनिंग इन लाइफ तब से ये क्वेश्चन थे देन आई फेल इन लव देन लव मैरिज देन जॉब देन फिर भी ये मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ और बट मुझे मेरे को लगा कि इसमें ही सब सेटिस्फाई होते हैं तो मुझे भी होना चाहिए बट कहीं ना कहीं कुछ ऐसा था फिर सब ने बोला मैंने सोचा मदर तो मुझे कभी बनना ही नहीं है इट्स अ ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेकिन फिर किसी ने ऐसा सजेस्ट किया कि वही तो मीनिंग इन लाइफ होगा शायद तो इतने क्योस में और वो सब क्योंकि शादी तो किया ही था तो अब अभी थोड़ा जनरेशन आई एम फिफ्टी थ्री माई डॉटर इज ट्वेंटी फोर तो फ़र्क तो है अभी का और तभी का सोचने में मुझे कहा चलो इन्हीं लोगों पर ट्रस्ट करते हैं कि शायद बींग मदरहुड इज़ वेरी मीनिंगफुल फॉर वुमेन तो मैंने वो स्टेप लिया बट विद ऑल द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस बड़ा कॉन्शियस स्टेप था बींग ए मदर मैं सारा लिटरेचर पढ़ा कि कैसे आप फिर एक कॉन्शियस उसको इन्वाइट करोगे ये बहुत सारा यही काम है ना पढ़ने का दिमाग को सारा जोड़ देने का तो फिर समबडी गिफ्टेड मी अ बुक अ मैगजीन ऑफ ओशो उसमें क्या था कि द टाइटल वॉज द खलील जिब्रान का जो वो है कि योर चिल्ड्रन आर नॉट योर्स दे कम फ्रॉम यू तो मेरे को फिर कैसे मीनिंग होगा ये तो मेरा ही नहीं है तो फिर अगेन अ क्वेश्चन माँ की मीनिंग इन लाइफ नहीं बड़े अच्छे से पाला है मैंने अपनी बच्ची को बहुत लविंगली बहुत डिवोशन से क्योंकि वो मिल गया था फिर आगे मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ किसी और सेंस में नॉट डायरेक्टली कि ये तो कैसे हुआ कि अब मैंने सोचा कि मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ का अब क्या करें फिर ये जैसे आ, हम पढ़ते ही रहते स्टोरीज बुद्धा ये सब मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ के लिए आ, सब छोड़ के चले गए अब हम तो छोड़ के नहीं जा सकते हैं प्रेग्नेंट ऑल्सो जॉब भी करना है खाना कौन देगा अभी वो लाइफ नहीं है कि आई कैन बी अ मॉन्ग टू फाइंड द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ कितना भी इंटेंसिटी हो बट वो नहीं कर सकते तो यू हैव टू यहीं पर वो एक सेंटेंस मैंने किसी कविता में पढ़ा था न सिद्धार्थ भागो यहीं रह के जागो तो हमारे पास वो लिबर्टी नहीं है 
कि बींग अ वुमेन ऑल्सो इतने सारे चैलेंजेस हैं तो नहीं तो फिर वहीं पे कैसे मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ फाइंड करें तो उस सारी जर्नी में जो अभी ये जर्नी ऑलमोस्ट 24 25 इयर्स की है तो उसमें जो स्टेप्स आए तो अभी थोड़ा सा ही समय है तो बहुत सारा मैं इसलिए बोला कि नॉलेज इज़ ऑफ कोर्स वेरी वैल्यूएबल मैंने भी इतना एब्जॉर्ब किया तभी ऐसा किया बट अभी जो मेरा टीचिंग है वो बड़ा थेरेप्यूटिक हो गया कि अगर फाइव डेज के लिए लोग मेरे पास आते हैं लाइक like, uh, हम रेजिडेंशियल रिट्रीट्स करते हैं या वन डे के लिए आते हैं तो मुझे बड़ा एक कनेक्शन होता है कि अरे ये भी मेरी तरह से ऐसे ढूंढ रहे हैं कि uh, ये तो अभी मैं द अदर डे वॉज रीडिंग कि एक लोगोथेरेपी होता है सुना है लोगोथेरेपी तो उसका फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या होता है वाई यू नॉट कमिटिंग सुसाइड इफ देर इज नो मीनिंग तो इस क्वेश्चन चलो क्लोज योर आइज लेट्स क्लोज अवर आइज इट्स लर्निंग बाई डूइंग मेरा जो बैकग्राउंड है आई एम ए टीचर एजुकेटर बी एड को पढ़ा है तो येस लर्निंग बाई डूइंग क्लोज योर आइज एंड फिगर इट आउट फॉर योर सेल्फ कि वाई यू आर नॉट कमिटिंग सुसाइड इफ दिस नो मीनिंग इन लाइफ फाइंड द आंसर I don't feel motivated enough to find the meaning of life, and there is no meaning of life. So why not to commit suicide? Take a deep breath. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. हाँ वो चिड़िया को अपना कभी वो क्वेश्चन नहीं मिलता है कि मैं सुसाइड क्यों करूँ चिड़िया को नहीं मिलता है तो हमें मिलता है तो एनी बडी वॉन्ट टू आंसर दिस कि वाई यू आर नॉट कमिटिंग सुसाइड येस होप है होप है आगे अच्छा होगा येस मतलब आगे कुछ हो जाए कुछ अच्छा हो येस थैंक यू सो मच एनी बडी एल्स in the present i would say like uh, right now when i close my eyes and thought of it i'm grateful for whatever i have and that is what is keep me going like i have good family i am sent to a good college i have the facilities and the privilege so yes why not to you know utilize them and be there yes Ach- yeah i think uh, that we have meaning in life but hello yes i think we have meaning in life but we are as humans we are constantly searching for more meaning so while we do that we hold on to what we have in life it could be friends family our career passion profession anything but i think meaning does exist mm-hmm. is that we always seek for more meaning as humans theek hai very nice you are giving me a, a new startup yeah more meaning <laughs> yes हेलो ये इस दिस गर्ल इन फ्रंट देन आई से या दिस इज द लास्ट फिर हम फिर डिस्कशन करें या सो व्हाट आई थॉट टू टू दैट क्वेश्चन वाज बिकॉज आई हैड नो चॉइस टू बी बोर्न आई जस्ट एग्जिस्टेड एंड डिस्पाइट ऑफ दैट द पीपल अराउंड मी गेव मी सो मच कंफर्ट दैट दैट आई वुडेंट टेक दैट स्टेप इज बिकॉज ऑफ देम आई विल थिंक ट्वाइस दैट what they have given me and what i am leaving for them so that is what keeps me going yes very nice as a counselor i often hear this answer kyunki mummy papa ne itna kiya hai to fir unko bura lagega dukh hoga to main isliye nahi mar rahi hu ye to main mar jati to bada unke upar ehsaan hai to fir agar unke liye yani ki aapka fir meaning of ye slowly slowly more and more introspection meditation bhi kya hai ये अब हु इज इन हु इज इन इज द बेसिक कॉन कि आपको क्या अंदर है तो इंट्रोस्पेक्शन uh, से स्टार्ट होता है तो अगर आपको ये आंसर मिला है कि उनके लिए मैं नहीं मर रही तो ये तो नेगेटिव आंसर है फिर उनके लिए कर क्या रहे हो अगर उन्हीं के लिए जिंदा हो तो इसी को बहुत इंटेंसिटी दे दो मैं तो जिंदा ही उनके लिए हूँ मम्मी क्या आपकी हेल्प करूँ उस लोग तो मम्मी कैसे क्या बात करूँ क्यों दुखी हो आपके चेहरे पर सैडनेस है मैं आपको पेडिक्योर कर दूँ जब जिंदा ही उनके लिए हो तो तो इंटेंसिटी इज ऑल्सो मिसिंग एवरी थिंग इज सो ल्यूक वॉर्म तो वो इंटेंसिटी कैसे आती है वो जो एक फॉर्मूला uh, है कि यूज योर बॉडी यूज योर इमोशंस नॉट ओनली यूज योर माइंड 
Yeah, somebody wants to say something? Yes. Hello. Um, yeah, so uh, I, wish, I wish to say that um, despite all, like if my life has a meaning or not, um, I wish to help others. And um, mm -hmm. I've been through a lot. My family like kind of kicked me out. So, But still, uh, I want to be there for others because I don't want people to mm -hmm. face uh, what I have faced. So that's the only reason I am not committing suicide. Yeah, thank you so much. So we all are doing this. We are in the help, uh, in the process of helping others. We are helping ourselves. Mathematics teaching was so boring. I took a voluntary retirement, and now I'm teaching love. I'm in the service of love. So that is giving me. That's my uh, kick. So I'm helping others in finding love in their heart and love in their relations. Yes, uh, living for others. Yeah. No, but then there has, has to be put the uh, intensity should be there. Yeah. Yes. Somebody else? Yeah. Uh, I think the response that came to me was that meaning is not in your life. What is it? I think it's good to live. If you meaning, it's not good to live. If you don't live, it's not good to live. I think it's good to live. I'm living for suicide. Why do I think about suicide? हाँ बिल्कुल सही है मैंने उसको बड़ा एक्सट्रीम वर्जन दे दिया क्योंकि मेरे पास ऐसे ही लोग आते हैं कि वो सब स्पेशली यूथ हमारा जो एज है एक्चुअली हमने वो देखा है मजा वो गुल्ली डंडा वो पिट्ठू करना वो हम उस जेनरेशन से आते हैं हमने टेक्नोलॉजी भी देखा हम भी अरे यार इतनी देर से मैं यही देख रही थी यूट्यूब को एक्सप्लोर करी जा रही थी बंद करो इसको क्योंकि हमने वो देखा है बट अभी का जो जनरेशन है वो इतने उसमें आते हैं कि जीना ही क्यों अच्छा ही नहीं लग रहा है उनका बेसिक ये होता है कि मुझे अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है लाइफ तो वहाँ से कैसे उसको लेके जाएंगे? तो you are saying कि हाँ कुछ तो meaning है but finding more meaning. तो then we have to have a root. ये तो decided है कि as a human being हमें ऐसे चिड़िया और ऐसे जानवर की तरह नहीं रह सकते हमें ये इसको face करना ही पड़ेगा. Unbearable light ये तो ये जब तक meaning नहीं मिलेगा तो हमें बहुत unbearable होता है जीना. तो meaning हमें चाहिए. किसी के लिए जैसे मिस्टर मेहरोत्रा ने कहा कि सबके लिए अलग-अलग होगा किसी के लिए मीनिंग सबके लिए अलग-अलग होगा पर उसी को ढूंढना चैलेंज है अगर हमें पता चल जाए व्हाई वी आर लिविंग देन हाउ टू डू इट वी विल मैनेज इफ आई एम लिविंग फॉर दिस पर्पस की जो पर्पस मिल जाए फिर उसको कैसे हाउ वी विल मैनेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज की वाई ये yes, क्या कह रहे तो पहली बार जब ये क्वेश्चन आया था जब पहली जॉब छोड़ी थी और ट्रैवल पे निकल गया था बैकपैक पे और तब पहली बार इंडिया हैबिटेट सेंटर आया था पहली बार ऑपरा की स्क्रीनिंग देखी थी वापस घर पे मम्मी पापा ने बुलाया तो जाने के लिए गया तो दोस्त के घर पे रुका हुआ था तो एक बंद उनके पापा ने मुझसे पूछा कि क्या सीखा क्या किया इतने दिनों में तो एक लाइन आई कि हाथ में मोबाइल फ़ोन है या तो कुछ भी है ये सब ह्यूमैनिटी ने दिया हुआ है मुझे तो इसकी एवोल्यूशन के लिए काम करना है उसके डेवोल्यूशन के लिए काम नहीं करना है पूरी प्रोसेस के अंदर नहीं सोचा था ट्रैवल के अंदर कि क्या करना है क्या पर्पस है वो अंडरलाइन करंट था पर सिर्फ ऑब्जर्व किया और जब वो क्वेश्चन आया तो अपने आप ये जवाब निकल गया यस yes. पर वो जो मोर वाली बात आपने करी ना वो अभी भी अनरिजोल्व है कि मोर और इंटेंसिटी वाली जो बात है हाँ तो उसके लिए रूट ये है कि सबसे पहले वेलकम द रियल एक्सचेंज ऑफ एनर्जी इन रियल स्पेस तो मैं एक लास्ट एक्सरसाइज कराती हूँ टेक जस्ट टू मिनट्स देन ओवर जो भी पास पास बैठे फेस टू फेस हो जाए मे बी यू गेट योर आंसर ऑल्सो मोर मीनिंग फेस टू फेस ऐसे ही हो जाए जरा सा मुड़ जाए आँखों में देखना यू हैव टू लुक इन टू ईच अदर्स आईज कॉपी वॉपी छोड़ दें सब कॉपी वॉपी छोड़ दें खड़े हो जाए स्टैंड स्टैंड खड़े हो जाए कोई भी कंफर्टेबल स्पेस में खड़े हो जाए जो भी पास पास बैठे दो मित्र कोई भी एक दूसरे के हाथ पकड़ लें छोड़ दें सब कुछ जब छोड़ेंगे तो पकड़ेंगे ना <laughs> हाथ पकड़ लें एंड स्टैंड एट अ फ्रेंड्स डिस्टेंस नॉट एट अ स्ट्रेंजर्स डिस्टेंस दूसरा होता है एट अ लवर्स डिस्टेंस दूसरा होता है एट अ फ्रेंड्स डिस्टेंस दूसरा होता है कुछ लोगों के हाथ बहुत स्ट्रेच हैं तो कम क्लोजर सो दैट यू आर स्टैंडिंग एट अ फ्रेंड्स डिस्टेंस यस नाउ हमारा दूसरा जो है आ, हमारा बोलने में बहुत एनर्जी जाता है हर एक कोई बहुत अच्छा ऑडिटर है हर एक कोई बहुत अच्छा स्पीकर है बट एनर्जी एक्सचेंज इस टाइम हम बोल के नहीं करेंगे आँखों से करेंगे लुक इन टू ईच अदर्स आईज नो टॉकिंग नो टॉकिंग इट्स जस्ट अ स्मॉल एक्सरसाइज इट्स द वननेस होल यूनिवर्स इज वन 
just see see into each other's eyes how it feels just without, without talking keep on looking is it so difficult that some people are not doing it just look into each other's eyes this is facing the life right now the psychologist on the video screen she said to make the connections so you are making the connection just with eyes without talking just looking into each other's eyes okay say thanks to each other bow down namaste and please have a seat how many people felt a connection with the other how many people please feel a connection with me now yes may i have your attention how many people yes i want to have your attention for one more minute how many people felt the connection with the other please raise your hands we honest how many people felt the connection almost 70 80 percent people felt that connection yes because we are connected you felt Yeah, whatever connection yeah that was also the message from that psychology the messages are the same because we all have uh, brainstormed so much that the findings are almost the same so yes connection with yourself or connection with the other it is also a step means energy exchange in real space means we are always so addicted to the phones so that time spent is not the, uh, is not useful in finding the meaning of life of course we can uh, have knowledge but meaning is something very deep why buddha left the home because uh, knowledge to pura tha that what is that ultimate reality or what is that uh, what is that so these are small steps jab tak hum final satisfy ho hi nahi sakte मे बी अभी कितना परसेंटेज मुझे सेटिस्फेक्शन आया है बिकॉज आई हैव ट्रेवल दैट रूट सो फार और भी परसेंटेज आएगा बट दे इज मतलब आई फील के आई एव अ मैप आई एम मूविंग द राइट डायरेक्शन टू हैव दैट मीनिंग इन कम्प्लीट सेटिस्फेक्शन विद मे बी इन दिस लाइफ और अन अदर लाइफ बट यू हैव टू हैव दोज कंसेप्ट क्लियर कि हाउ वी विल मूव ऑन दिस रूट सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू thank you thank you so much i think uh, both your uh, uh, pieces have been so interesting and um, have left us with and i'm 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 sort of constantly reminded of what you keep saying you know method and wisdom method and wisdom and i really think that you know the two things have come together uh, in some way uh, you know it's it's the journey of a lifetime uh, you know and uh, all we can hope i think from uh, from our end is that each of us is able to undertake that journey in as meaningful way as possible if meaning is what you're wanting if you can be as light as the bird <laughs> not worry about meaning at all that will be amazing as yes, we have one question i had a quick question which was basically the last exercise that you did which was trying to find a connect or a moment of stability with another person I think we are at a certain generation where there's more importance given to finding connection with yourself and not finding connection with another person <coughs> which is why doing that exercise is more awkward and I'm and I'm conflicted I want to find connection with other people but people tend to find that overbearing let's put it and and therefore it's always said hey find meaning with yourself but as social animal how do I just find meaning in isolation yes very interesting question yeah yeah uh i have my trainings from osho human university netherlands in emotional wellness the whole work is social meditation what osho did he proposed active meditations 
because the Buddhas and Vipassanas, they were wonderful methods, but some people in this complex world, they are not able to sit silently and watch the breath. Maybe. So Osho is coming with all the proposals of active meditations, which, use, which are using body more, emotions more, and uh, catharsis, emotional catharsis, dancing, music. And this uh, disciple of Osho, Viresh in Netherlands, the Dutchman, he's no more now, but I have the opportunity to meet him. So he uh, designed a term social meditations because uh, in the West, they were feeling very, uh, this unbearable heaviness of being in isolation. People are living in their flats just and uh, they are coming for, when they are coming for the workshops. So again, if we tell them, go and sit and watch your breath. So those methods were very therapeutic when we uh, get them interact with each other. But yeah, it was awkward because it was just like this, uh, an exercise. But slowly, slowly, and it is also Vigyan Bhairav Tantra uh, Sutra also. Uh, Sometimes we can see like uh, the other is mirror and it is like the well. We find ourselves in the other's eyes also. So, uh, yeah, it was awkward, but uh, it is a method. So I just wanted to give her a, a taste. If it is feeling so awkward, then we can introspect. Yeah, maybe the circumstances were like that. That this normal piece of thing is awkward to me. Because uh, that was the Aparna was telling me, na, ki if we are, uh, the psychologists say, you are abnormal. Let us fit you into the society. But what we get, we are the misfit. I'm the misfit. That's why I got Osho and all the path. I'm the misfit, but it, there's no problem. Then that search is on and on. So if uh, whatever you uh, get the insights about you, it is moving on the path. Thank you. As closing Thank comments, uh, as closing, we, 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 we have to wrap, unfortunately. As closing comments, I mean, I'm uh, the lady who just asked a question, I'm reminded of Again, something that you said and, and said right now as well, Mr. Mehrotra, which is that the trouble is that we take ourselves too seriously. It is in softening the self, uh, you know, that perhaps some answers lie. Uh, so I'm just wondering what your response would be to her, and, and then we will wrap. No, I don't have a different. I... See, I, I, I think that, uh, well, I so three things I want to flag. Uh, firstly, I think there's a great misunderstanding about the Buddha. The Buddha did not have knowledge. He left uh, not because he was looking for something for himself. He saw the suffering of others and set out in order to understand suffering and or dissatisfaction and craving and how we could be liberated from that craving. And this is also Osho's commentary on the Buddha. He's written a beautiful uh, yeah, in, all a, a meditation halls, all Osho and meditation halls are named correct. Buddha Hall. So yeah. uh, it was that, that's what he did. Now, you know, again, that this, you know, aspect of uh, social connect, you know, this, this connection. Now, tomorrow, if you were to try and establish uh, eye contact, uh, as, as a general, you know, th there is a difference between the intimacy of eye contact and people, and uh, let's not forget, that Osho himself sent long periods of ice in isolation. And otherwise he could not have been as prolific as he did. So he designed these methodologies for particular contexts and groups. And the genius of every great teacher, including and especially Osho, was to devise initiatives and projects and techniques that are suitable for you, or you, or you. So the point is, and it depends who you confront. Now we know we all have uncomfortable body language. You will have men who have different motivations and intentions. So it could be extremely uncomfortable and in fact counterintuitive if you were to get into an intimate eye contact relationship with someone who may be leering at you during that process of eye contact. So it is the, the, the essence of uh, the, the quest or the journey is the individualization of it and for us to be able to choose. So she has proposed an excellent exercise. Now there should, you should not feel any self-inflicted pressure that this is what I need to do in order to achieve something. It is a method, it does not work for me and that is perfectly reasonable. 
it is because we have reached, as she pointed out, a culture of conformity that we want to conform to somebody's particular prescription. And I just want to conclude with this, and I conclude every session I can with it, because I see in someone like the Dalai Lama that he is willing to go to a mosque and do the namaz because he believes that philosophy, that technique, that practice is legitimate. He will go to a church and sing a Christian hymn. He will go to a Gurdwara. And that each one of us, and please never forget this, that we are responsible for ourselves. We need a particular mental diet and a particular mental exercise. Just as we need a physical diet and a physical exercise, without both these sets, we will not fulfill ourselves as human beings. So this is not at all to undermine the process. And I think the genius of Osho was that he provi provided a variety, such a rich variety of methods to suit all kinds of people. And, and ultimately, either you make the selection, and yesterday I had this, you know, this, this uh, the psychiatrist friend of ours, and I was a little disturbed. He said, oh, you know, the psychiatrist has uh, replaced the teacher. No, there is a difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist and an Osho or a Dalai Lama or the Buddha or the Prophet. And that is in a very intense manner. They take deep responsibility and a mutual, I mean, it's like the guru-shishya relationship where your karmas, I was being shared, talking to Aparna <laughs> um, the other day about samaya. And Samaya is the deep bonding relationship which one takes complete responsibility uh, for the others. And that is not possible in a large, uh, large, you know, uh, group context. So I'm afraid, no escape. You have to take responsibility for your own lives and it would be very unskillful to abdicate it to anyone, including all the things I've said. <laughs> which is, don't do this or do that. That's where I'm coming from. So my view is that don't abdicate. And ultimately we find meaning when we take, are able to take responsibility for our choices, for our actions, and to constantly use discrimination. And the difference between the bird who does suffer, uh, as, as we've seen animals uh, suffer, or uh, you know, uh, elephant mourning when they lose someone, is that we have volition, and you have to exercise that volition. There is no magic bullet. Indeed. <laughs> if at the end of the session you are as confused as you were before, <laughs> I think somewhere that is the intention because there are no clear answers, right? This is not an answer sheet that you fill out and then you'll get, you know, five marks here and six marks there or whatever. There is no hundred on hundred. It is a journey and we all have to struggle to find our own answers and they'll all be different answers, right? So my answer will be different from Mr. Mehrotra's and Dr. Astogi's and from each one of you. And that is the big responsibility that I think both of you have referred to. Uh, it is a responsibility that is ours and only we can fulfill it. That might seem daunting, but actually it's a fun journey, I would say. It's a very fun journey, and I hope that each one of you is able to embark on that journey. On that note, let me thank my <laughs> wonderful panelists. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, and